I'm three on your side's Gary Harper. A Sun City man says, like a lot of people, he keeps most of his money in a bank. But get this, someone stole his identity and cleaned out his account for nearly $100,000. Ronald Van Horn is a Navy vet who likes to take a trip down memory lane every once in a while by looking at old pictures. 68 years. 68 years. That's how long Ronald and his wife Patricia were married. That is, until she passed away last year. My wife and I had saved money. And they were disciplined savers. So Ronald was a little concerned when he stopped getting his Chase Bank statements. As a result, he went to his local Chase Bank branch to get a printout and discovered a large sum of money was missing. We're talking in the neighborhood of $98,000 in change. 98 grand. But how did that happen? Well, according to Ronald, a few months ago, someone had a check bearing his name and tried cashing the $98,000 check several times. Although Chase Bank flagged the check and turned it down twice, the scammer succeeded on the third try. Apparently on, on uh, April the 3rd, the check that they presented to the bank was turned down. And on the 8th of April, another check was turned down. And on the 10th of April, they were successful in getting the transaction. And get this, even though Ronald lives in Sun City, Arizona, the scammer cashed the check at a Chase Bank down in Florida, a state Ronald has never lived in before. Ronald and his family members can't believe it. it has my dad's name on it, same name, but different address in Florida. And when you look at the signature on the front, Ronald says it's not even his signature or his last name. It says Van Horse, not Van Horn. Still, it was good enough for the scammer to walk away with Ronald's $98,000. I want it back. It's mine. Well, again, Chase Bank tells Serena Side that they are investigating. When there's an update, I'll let you know in a follow-up report. I'm Gary Harper, 3 on your side.